Small Land Survive the Wild VR is a flat screen adaptation that gives you all the vibes and nostalgia of a childhood movie that was near and dear to my heart called Honey I Shrunk the Kids. You're basically a creature called Small Folk where everything around you is absolutely humongous. This scene from the movie, however, kind of sums up how the game actually works and what we thought might be an epic adventure. First, let's start off with the settings. There basically is none here. We only have the bare minimums as we only see a dominant hand, turn mode, toggle grip, and wrist UI. This is very disappointing. I like to sit down when I play VR and doing so makes you feel like you're even smaller than you already are. Some height adjustment would be fantastic here and my biggest gripe is that if you toggle the wrist UI off, there is no way to see your health or where your next quest is. We should be able to see it on top kind of like a compass of some sort as well. The world is actually pretty cool as it does make you feel like you're a small folk in a big vast world. Objects are about 10 times bigger than they normally would be and it really creates a sense of scale. The characters you meet are all unique and have a good design to them making you feel as if you're truly meeting a new person. There is no voice acting though so be expected to read quite a bit of the character dialogue. The user interface is very simple but also not perfected and can be a bit annoying. While the design is sleek, it gives you tabs to look at your inventory, quests, recipes for crafting, and of course your lack of options in the menu. You can also keep tabs on your health, temperature, and nutrients for survival. My biggest problem with this is that when you're trying to place items into your bag, you constantly have to open up the menu and hover over the slot to drop it in there for about 3 seconds. It's really annoying. And when you're on the fly, or even creatures coming at you, you basically are losing your items. Crafting seems to be pretty cool as you must collect resources in the environment and take them to your crafting table. Here, there is a menu to craft multiple things from house parts, weapons, and armor. What really feels funny is having to hit the item with the hammer as it really feels like the hammer is offset and you're not able to strike it when you want to. This is one of the biggest things that needs to be fixed in the game or give us the options of hand offset. Combat is very lackluster as you're basically just swinging your arms around to do damage to your enemies. There only really seems to be a one hitbox on most enemies and that's on their head. I was impressed though by how the creatures move around and try to avoid you with dodging attacks and also trying to figure out how to flank you. There seems to be bigger boss fights too which was neat to see while I was fighting a giant spider in the forest. Overall, this game seems to be something that was just slapped together once again from a flat screen game. It feels as if the ad sets were just dropped into the world to make it into a VR version and it really shows. Everything from how the hands feel to objects just being placed in the environment with only certain areas being active is very disappointing. I'm hoping the developers will make a huge update to this game because the flat screen version really isn't that bad. Only time will tell what this game holds for its future, but I do think it could be fun with some proper VR mechanics and some love. As always, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we will see you on the next video.